Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about types of friction, which is most important for the exam point of view. So see carefully. Let's see first of all the outlines of the session. First we will discuss about the types of friction. Then we will see tri friction or you can say solid friction, next boundary friction. And at last we will see film friction or greasy friction. Let's see the types of friction. So basically there are two approaches to classify the friction. First one, based on the lubrication you can classify the friction and second one based on motion also you can classify the friction. So let's see first one. So based on lubrication you can classify the friction as dry friction, boundary friction and film friction. Again dry friction is subclassified as sliding friction and rolling friction. Now based on the motion you can classify the friction as static friction and dynamic friction. Dynamic friction is also known as the kinetic friction. Again kinetic friction is classified as sliding friction and rolling friction. Now let's see one by one all types of the friction briefly. So let's start from the first one dry friction. So here you can see first one dry friction that is also called as the solid friction. When friction is experienced between two dry or unlubricated contact surfaces. It is known as dry or solid friction. So once again remember it. When friction is experienced between two dry or unlubricated contact surfaces is known as dry or solid friction. So very simple from the name itself indicate dry that means there is a friction between two dry contact surfaces. Next boundary friction. Here you can see in this figure there is a boundary friction between these two. So I think from the figure you can understand. When friction is experienced between two rubbing surfaces having a very thin layer of lubricant between the surfaces. Here you can see when the friction is experienced between two rubbing surfaces having a very thin layer of lubricant between these two surfaces is known as boundary friction. So very simple in case of dry friction there is no any thin lubrication layer between the surfaces. In case of boundary friction, there is a thin layer between the surfaces. Now next one, film friction. It is also known as greasy friction. It is also known as viscous friction. When friction is experienced between two rubbing surfaces, having a thick layer of lubricant between the surfaces is known as film friction. So very simple film friction having a very thick film between the surfaces. In case of boundary friction there is a very thin layer of lubricant between the surfaces. In dry friction there is no any layer means there is a dry contact between two surfaces. That's why it is called as unlubricated surfaces also. In boundary friction there is a very thin layer. In film friction there is a thick layer of lubricant between the surfaces. Next based on motion first one is static friction. Static friction is the frictional force between the surfaces. Here you can see this is the frictional force between these two surfaces when they are not in motion with respect to each other. So very simple if the body is at rest then you can say there is a static friction. 
So very simple, static friction means it is a frictional force between these surfaces when they are not in motion. Next one, dynamic or you can say kinetic friction. So in this figure you can see this ball having a motion. So when ball starts moving, there is a friction between the surfaces is known as kinetic friction. So dynamic friction or you can say kinetic friction is the frictional force between the surfaces of the two substances when they are in motion with respect to each other. So once again it is very simple. In case of static friction, there is no any relative motion between the surfaces. In case of dynamic friction, there is a relative motion between the surfaces. Example, friction involved between the shoes and the road during a marathon. So at that time, there is a motion in the shoes with respect to surface of road. So there is a relative motion. That's why it is called as the kinetic friction. From these two figures, you can understand the difference between static friction and kinetic friction. In the static friction, the body having no any relative motion with respect to each other. In case of kinetic friction, there is a relative motion between the two surfaces. So in this figure also you can understand, if you applied the force on any one body and if there is no any motion at the end of the application of the force, then it is considered as static friction. And you know that friction is always opposite to the motion of the force. That's why this friction that is opposite to this direction and this frictional force is known as static friction. Here you can see, if you applied the force, then if the body having a motion, so always you know that the friction force is opposite to the motion and this friction force is known as kinetic friction because of the body having a sliding motion. Here there is no any motion, that means it is a static friction. From this figure also you can understand, static friction is actually initially increase with respect to the applied force. But after the threshold, it will drastically reduce. So after threshold of the motion, the body will move and thus the static friction drastically reduce and it is known as kinetic friction. So after this, the body will move. So from the figure you can understand the static friction is always higher than kinetic friction. Now next one, dry friction is also classified in these two categories. So let's see sliding friction. It is very simple name itself indicate. So in this figure you can see if the body will slide over to the other surface then there is a sliding friction very simple. So when two dry surfaces having a sliding motion relative to each other it is called as sliding friction. In this figure you can see there is a sliding motion so that it is called as sliding friction. Here also you can see it slide over the surface that's why it is called as sliding friction. Next rolling friction. So look at this figure. The body will roll over the surface then the friction between these two surfaces is known as rolling friction. So you can say when two dry surfaces having a rolling motion relative to each other, it is called as a rolling friction. So see carefully, this is the sliding friction where the body slide over the other surface. In the rolling friction, the body having rolling motion over the surface. In this figure also you can see the wheel is rolling over the surface. So you can say there is a rolling friction. Example, wheel on the road. If you have any doubt, 
then write in the comment box i will be back thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate it